Hi and welcome back to another practice. It's been a while since I posted any vinyasas. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's vinyasa we have a fun mandala flow. It's basically like fun practice with a few challenges and just to get get the mind off of the routine. My latest uh, addition to my practice has been these ankle weights and it just uh, adds extra challenge to the core and to build strength in the legs while doing your vinyasa. So you're, it's like weight training and yoga flow and core strengthening all at once. So it's just a fun extra addition. It's completely optional. It makes I mean you with or without the flow is still fun and I hope you enjoy it. Please do subscribe to the channel and whenever you are ready we will meet on the mat. I will start with a few rounds of uh, sun salutation because I am not warm, warm enough yet and uh, yep, whenever you are ready I will meet you on the mat. Meet me at the front of the mat. You have your feet either hip distance or slightly wider. Bring your palms to the chest. You can have them in prayer. Tuck your tailbone and engage your core. Take a deep in breath. Next out breath, optional to include a heel lift. Sweep your arms all the way up. Bring your gaze up towards the sky. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Bring your palms either onto the mat or you can have it on your shin. Open your sit bones up towards the sky. Your weight moves towards the ball mounds of your feet. You should feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Engage your core. Bend your knees. Either step or hop back depending on how worn you are. Engage your core and add two or three push-ups. One. Two, three, okay, five, four, five, bring your hips down, open into a cobra, you can have your back toes tucked, and bring your knees down, sit your hips back, extend in your child, come back into plank, and Lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Float your right leg up, point your right foot. Push the mat away from your head. Turn your palms slightly inwards and take five one-legged dog push-ups. One, two, three, four. Bring your right foot beside your left. Float your heels, bend at your knee, bring your gaze towards your palms and you can either step or hop to the front of the mat. Halfway lift, palm the, palms to the mat. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Come all the way up to Tadasana. Let's do that one more time. Take a deep breath, in Tadasana, float your heels, sweep your arms up, bring your gaze up towards the sky. Fold forward. Halfway lift, on the mat. Step or hop back into plank, take five push-ups. You can do it from plank or you can bring your knees down. Five. Four, three, two, one. Bring your hips down, keep your feet tucked into high cobra. Knees onto the mat, shift your hips back, child's pose. Come back into plank, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Float your left leg, three-legged dog, five down three-legged dog push-ups, five, four, three, 
two, one. Left foot meets the right. Travel to the front of the mat, your choice. Halfway left, go forward. Come all the way back up, Tutarasana. Right. Take a deep breath in. Sweep your arms up. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Palm the mat. Open your sit bones towards the sky. Step or hop back into plank. Five push ups here. One, two, three. Four, five. Bring your knees down this time. Cross your legs. Bring your sit bones down onto the mat. We'll start our flow. Feet comes in front of your hips. Cross your right foot over your left thigh. So you're in a figure four. Palms are facing towards your hips. Like adjust your stance. So you are able to lift up into a figure four tabletop. Come back into figure four. Puff your chest up towards the sky. You should be able to feel a nice stretch in your outer right glute. Keep your right foot flexed. Extend your left leg. Plant your right foot down. Turn towards the left side of the mat. Adjust your stance and lift up into a supported side plank with your right foot kickstand in the front. Right. Okay. Kickstand in the front. Square your hips to the front of the mat. Dip your left hip down and lift back up into a side plank. Two. Three, four, five. Lift back up. Face the back of the mat. Plant your right foot in line with your left palm. You're in a runner's lunge. Shift your weight onto your right foot. Float your back leg up. Optional. To bind your arms right arm below your left into eagle arms now this is where having weights strapped onto your leg adds an extra challenge hold release and come up into one legged tadasana bring your left foot to float in front of your hips have your left foot come to the Inner right thigh, transition into a tree. Optional to have your arms in prayer above your head or you can have it out in a tree. Release your tree, float your left foot in the front. You can grab hold of your left big toe with your two piece fingers. And hold, release and float your left leg back, transition warrior three. Open your hips to the right side of the mat, transition into half moon. Plank your back foot down. Come into a side angle. Your right hand is on the inside of your right foot. Or you can rest it on top of your right thigh. Optional to extend your left hand alongside your ears. Extend your right leg. Reach out through your left fingertips. Transition into a triangle. Squeeze your glutes, engage your core here. Bend your 
right leg coming to up warrior two sink your hips down warrior two hold face the back of the mat come into a high crescent lunge and bring your back knee to touch the ground cactus your arms come back up two three four five this time keep the back knee down cross your right foot in front of your left thigh bring your sit bones down take a seat at rest wrap your left arm around your right thigh face the front of the mat and bring your feet to touch in front of you coming into a butterfly bring your palms together facing the back edge of the mat and reach through your fingertips and hinge from your hips go as far as you can work towards bringing both your knees down onto down towards the ground if you don't round your shoulders your ears are moving away from your shoulders don't crank your neck keep the back of your neck long keep looking forward and come back up you should feel a nice stretch in your inner thighs all right now we'll do that flow and go all the way to the back of the mat again so cross your right foot or over your left thigh come into a figure four or just the stance so you have enough space in your shoulders to lift up into a table for table top release down extend your left leg plant your right foot in a into a kickstand press the side of the mat come into a supported side plank dip your left hip down and lift back up 1 face the front of the mat right foot alongside your left palm float your back leg up option to bind your hands right hand below your left hold come up into one legged tadasana transition into tree release your tree one legged tadasana option to float your left leg release float back for the for your tree bring your right palm slightly in front of your left right foot open your hips to the left side of the mat half moon plant your back foot transition side angle from here extend your right leg come into a triangle bend your right foot come into warrior two face the front of the mat and crescent lunge back knee to the mat Cactus your arms. One, two, three, four. Fifth one. Take a seated twist. Crossing your right foot in front of on the outside of your left thigh. Face the front of the mat. Come into butterfly. reach interlace your fingers you can have your 
uh, first two fingers pointing out or all of your fingers pointing out, reach like as though you're trying to touch the front of the mat, hinge from your hips, keep the back of your neck long and fold. Release all the way back up and we repeat the flow on the other side. This time plant your right foot, cross your left, left ankle over your right thigh. Adjust your stance with your hands near in a figure four. You should feel a nice stretch in your outer glutes and from here lift your hips up, come into a tabletop. Release. Extend your right leg, plant your left foot, roll on to your right palm, lift your hips up, come into a supported side plank. From here, right hips to the mat, lift back up for five, four, Three, two, last one, come back up, face the back of the mat, bring your left foot besides your right hand, come into a low, uh, come into a runner's lunge, shift your weight onto your left leg, float your back, back leg, optional to bind your hands, this time left hand below the right and hold. Come up into one legged Tadasana. Square your hips. Bring your right foot on the inside of your left thigh. Transition tree. Hold. Release back to one legged Tadasana. Grab hold of your right big toe with your two piece fingers and extend your leg. Release and float your right leg back. Come into warrior three. Left palm, few inches in front of your left foot. Open your hips to your to the longer side of the mat, and transition into half moon. Plant your back foot. Bring your left palm on the inside of your left leg. Side angle. Extend your top arm over your ears. Hold. Extend your right leg. Reach through your top fingertips, your right fingertips. Triangle. Back into warrior two. Sink your hips down. Face the back of the mat. Come into a high crescent lunge. Tap your back knee down. Cactus your arms for five, four, Three, two, last one, keep the knee down, cross your right foot, left foot, sorry, on the outside of your right thigh, take a seated twist. Release your twist, this time you can stack your left shin on top of your right shin. Lengthen your spine. You can sit up here or if you have the mobility and the opening in your hips, fold forward. Back of your neck, keep it long. Release, come back up and we'll flow back to the other side of the mat. Bring your left ankle to cross over your right thigh. Adjust your stance. You, have, you need to have your elbows straight. I mean, not locked, but at least straight, not too bent. When you're in your sweet spot, lift your hips. Come into a figure four tabletop. Release that. Extend your right leg. Plant your left foot, kickstand. And lift your hips up. Come into a supported side plank. Bring your right hip down. And lift back up, five, four, 
three, two, one. Face the mat, bring your left foot alongside your right hand. Shift your weight onto your left leg and float your back leg. Optional to bind your arms. Come up, one legged Tadasana. Square your hips. Bring your right foot on the inside of your left thigh. Tree pose. Hold. Release that. Grab your right big toe with your two piece fingers. Extend your right leg. Hold. Release and float into warrior three. Open your hips, bring your left palm slightly in front of your left foot, half moon. Plant your back foot, come into a side angle. Extend your top hand, your right hand alongside your ears. Reach through your right fingertips as you extend your left leg, triangle. Release and come into warrior two. Sink your hips down. Face the front of the mat in high lunge. And tap your knee down. Cactus your arms for five, four, three, two. Last one, keep your back knee down. Come into a seated twist with your left foot on the outside of your right thigh. and release come into a fire lock this time switch your legs have your right foot on top of your left right shin on top of your left shin and fold forward come back up and we'll add a little more variation cross your right shin over your left thigh come into a figure four work your chest as close to your right shin as you can that should stretch your outside of your glutes it should feel really good adjust your stance and lift your hips up come into a tabletop release your hips down extend your left leg plant your left right foot into a kickstand but this time come down onto your left forearm and extend your right hand alongside your ears from here adjust your stance don't collapse into your left shoulder engage your left lat muscles point your left foot and lift and release for five four you should feel this in your inner thighs. Make sure that you keep planting all of your right foot down. Three, two, one. You can bring your right palm to hold your right ankle. That helps a little bit. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your chest to face the back of the mat. Bring both your forearms down. Transition into dolphin. It might not look like a very beautiful transition, but it's okay. If you keep practicing, you will get it. Mine is not pretty either, so don't bother much. Come into a dolphin and float your right leg. Hold. And as you bring your right foot to land in between your palms push out of your forearms and bring your right knee into your chest plant it in between your hands float your back leg bind your hands right hand below your left hold pull your right left knee to chest come up one legged tadasana this time 
Oh, bring your left knee on the outside of your left hip. You can stay here, hold this or you can grab hold of your left big toe, extend your left leg. Release that, catch your left foot behind you with your left palm, right arm extended alongside your ears, kick into your left palm, lean forward into a dancers. Release one legged Tadasana, float your left leg, warrior three. Hold, 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 hold. Transition into half moon. Plant your back foot, come into side angle. Reach through your left fingertips as you extend your right leg. Come into triangle. Come back to warrior two. Sink your hips down. Shift your left hip towards your left heel. Sit in Skandasana. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Bring your right palm on the inside of your left foot. Now you're facing the front of the mat. Bring your left feet, left foot on the outside of your hip and flip it into wild thing. Come into a plank, keep your left leg floating, bring your left knee down. Now this time float your right leg up, come onto your forearms. You can rest your right thigh on your left foot. Bring your left shin down, if you can pull your right knee into chest, shift your shoulders forward and right shin parallel to the short edge of the mat, you're in pigeon. You can stay here, you can fold in your pigeon. If you have king pigeon in your practice or any variation of that, you can add that, fold your back leg, work your back foot to your elbow crease and bind your arms behind your head, hold, release your pigeon and sweep your back leg forward and come back to butterfly. Fold in your butterfly. Come back up. If you're like me and you've moved to the middle of the mat, just scoot yourself back to the back of the mat and we go through that flow on the other side. This time, cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Work your chest as close to your shin. You should feel a nice stretch in your outer right, left glute. Adjust your stance and from your sweet spot, push your hips up, tabletop figure four. Release that down, extend your right leg, plant your left foot on the outside. Now turn towards your long, longer side of your mat, bring your right forearm down. Don't sink into your forearm, engage your lat muscles. You can use your left, left hand to hold your left ankle. That will give you a sense of stability here. Point your right foot and lift and release for two, three, four, five, Six. I absolutely love having my ankle weights while when I'm working my inner thighs. It really 
really works into your inner thighs then two more release bring your chest square with your mat you're facing the back of the mat lift your hips transition into dolphin float your left leg from here push your forearms up i mean push your elbows up plant your plant your palms down so as you're transitioning into your plank you'll pull your left knee into your chest and shift forward plant your left foot in between your palms float your back leg bind your hands optional though who you can see i'm getting tired with the ankle weights and talking and who the balance work release bring your right knee into chest hold square your hips bring your right knee on the outside of your right hip stay here or you can grab hold of your right big toe and extend your leg hold release transition into dancers grab hold of your right foot behind you left hand extends alongside your ears kick into your right hand and lean 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 forward hold hold release into one legged tadasana my right side is very tight today flow back into warrior 3 i'm shaking plant your back foot side angle extend your right hand alongside your ear reach through your right fingers as you extend your left leg triangle warrior 2 transition skandhasana towards the front of the mat face the front of the mat bring your left palm on on alongside your right foot now flip into wild thing flow through a side plank come into a plank bring your right knee down come down onto your forearms rest your left leg over your right foot hold bring your right shin down pull your left knee to chest bring your left shin parallel to the mat you are now in pigeon hold choose the variation that you chose on the other side for your pigeon release sweep your back leg to the front come into butterfly and fold forward and we'll end up practice you know where but we'll add some core work so come down onto the mat bring your arms out in a t have your knees directly stacked over your hips engage your core drop your knees on the outside of your left hip come to center outside of your right hip we'll go through that 10 times 10 9 8 8 I should have undone my ponytail 
two and last one back to center pause i need to undo my ponytail it's bothering me okay there you go now we'll do some leg drops if you want you can support your tailbone but extend your legs and have your toes point towards the sky glue your legs together straight legs engage your thighs drop your legs as far down as you can engage your core pull it back up 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 come on 2 one more and last one hug your knees into your chest take a deep breath bring your palms behind your head and let's take let's bicycle for let's say 10 count i don't know let's see extend your right leg right elbow to left knee and switch one two three four five six seven eight there and release oh oh my god i think the ankle weights who and they had a good challenge on that okay now Let's get into our final back bend. You can end in a bridge or you can just end your practice here. Whatever is your choice. Okay, heels slightly wider than the hips. Weight is on your heels, push down. Bring your palms on the outside of your ears and exhale, lift your hips up, tuck your tailbone, hold and push down with your palms and lift up into your back bend. try to work your chest towards whatever is whatever is behind you release your back bend. hug your knees into your chest and we'll end up practice here in shavasana i hope you enjoyed the whole flow and if you did add an ankle weight i hope that was fun and challenging in those balancing transitions leave a comment below i would love to hear from you guys please do subscribe to the channel that will just motivate me to bring better vinyasas and more challenging workouts for you guys have a good day and good rest of your week until the next time take care